Lurch got left in a lurch. China rejecting pressure from climate czar John Kerry to do more to address global warming. Kerry personally traveled to Beijing with the hopes that the Chinese will cut carbon emissions, but those efforts crashing harder than Kerry's windsurfing <laughs> career. We had very frank conversations, but we came here to break new ground, which we think is important at this stage. Uh, and it is clear uh, that we are going to need a little more work to be able to complete that task. You know, it's interesting, Dana, when I look at him, it's like he really wants to be in the Hall of Presidents. Yep. He acts like it, right? But he'll never get there. But he acts like a, like a robotic kind of uh, statesman. How yeah. much CO2 did this noxious blowhard put into the air with his trip? He flew 7,000 miles to get there. You could have had the same results with a Zoom meeting. Yes. As Daniel Turner mentioned uh, on Twitter, as I saw. Uh, he was he's basically begging China to reduce emissions. He got nowhere. And President Xi has said, we, we will get the new before... Uh, we, we want to get to the new, but we don't want to discard the old before we get there. Yes. It's just, it's just logical, mm -hmm. and it makes sense. And in the meantime, America's job creators, they have reduced emissions so much here through innovation, but also they're not rewarded for their innovation. They are beaten over the head with more regulations, which prevents us from getting to the new in a faster way. Mm. See that problem, the circular logic. There you go. Jessica, like John Kerry, you are tall. <laughs> Fair. Is that does that is that why he's so arrogant? <laughs> <laughs> Explain. I mean, tall people have a lot of advantages in life. They if really you want do. Jesse and I to talk about that for the rest of the <laughs> Yes, show. that is something yeah. we would agree on. We got something today. Um, I don't really see this as a tremendous embarrassment necessarily. Odds are the Chinese are not going to say, you know what, you're right. We're responsible for a third of the global emissions. We'll sign on to whatever you have to say. I was just glad that he didn't get kicked out on day one because the Chinese, since we've kind of been a little strange about Taiwan and we had the, you know, we're going to go in, we're not going to go in, et cetera, the last year has been pretty frosty. Um, so I think having at least the conversation is a good thing. But, yes, if this is your job to fix the climate, it's obviously not great if one of the uh, biggest superpowers and emitters doesn't want to do anything with you. So Jessica says, Judge, that it's obvious he failed. Uh, it was embarrassing, humiliating for America. And we have to keep paying for these conversations. Oh, let's go here and have a conversation. Nothing happens, but you and I pay for it. Jessica. I pay tax. I pay a lot of tax. You do. You do, but you love it. I enjoy it. <laughs> yeah, that's why you want people to stay in New York, so more people can pay taxes. <laughs> Look, you know what? I did a, I did kind of a spinoff of what, uh, of what Dana did. Okay, so uh, he takes a plane to China. Uh, he gets nothing done, so he flies home. So he flew for about 40 hours. The jet emissions were two, 25 metric tons, okay? Uh, it's the same as 64,000 miles, which is 30 round trips back and forth <laughs> from New York to Las Vegas 30 times. And this guy says he cares about climate change. I mean, really. And the truth is, I mean, we keep telling him we want these electric uh, uh, vehicles and lithium batteries, and they're developing a coal plant every day to satisfy the needs that we have. And then we go over there like we're talking out of two sides of our mouth, saying, oh, but to give us some clean emissions, reduce your emissions, but, you know, give us more batteries. And if you build a coal plant every three days, it's okay. Yeah. You know, Jesse, I think he makes these virtue trips to offset his vices. You know, he spends a lot of money on copious material consumption yachts, going around having fun, and this is his way of giving back. Plus, czars are going to czar. Yes. It's what they do. <laughs> they gallivant and they traipse around in someone else's dime, and then they negotiate and they wear silk ties. Mm -hmm. It's John Kerry's whole career. I'm not surprised the Chinese told him to stuff it. Why would they? What, are they going to make less money because Kerry said so? What, are they going to stop growing so fast because Kerry said knock it off? Come on. Countries don't do things that slow them down mm -hmm. or that make them less money. It's just human nature. Mm. Kerry should know that because he's this close to being human. Yeah, nicely done. Coming up, it turns out that I'm 100% right on everything. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, everyone. I'm Brian Kilmeade. I want you to do me a favor. I want you to click to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page. This is the only way that I know for sure that you're not going to miss any great commentary, any great news bites, any great interviews coming your way on Fox. You can get it all here on YouTube. So subscribe right now.